right, we are here with Mike Potter. This is Christine Allen interviewing Dr. Mike Potter with University of Kentucky. And this is the symposium for bed bugs. So what, what makes uh, this symposium special for UK this year, Dr. Potter? Well, first of all, I think it's special for ESA because if we go back to one of the sub-themes of the president this year, it's entomology and social responsibility. And certainly, uh, the resurgence of the bed bug has given entomologists a wonderful opportunity to demonstrate that they do important things for society. As far as the uh, University of Kentucky, this is our 120th anniversary, which is a you know, very, very special thing for us. And I think collectively we tried to say, well, what can we do that would be beneficial to uh, the ESA and would be bring a lot of different groups in. So uh, we said, well, gee, bed bugs is hot, and we have a group of researchers, a team that works on bed bugs at the University of Kentucky. So it seemed like a great fit. So uh, the ESA was gracious enough to uh, award us a program, a program symposia, and uh, we then went on to get some outstanding speakers from all over the world. Uh, we uh, were able to pull together a wonderful poster session that has at least a dozen universities involved with that, uh, and we also met managed to get uh, manufacturing and industry involved um, to contribute uh, financial resources to have this wonderful reception of uh, food and drink so that people could come together to talk about uh, entomology in general or bed bugs specifically. So what would you say is the number one myth about bed bugs? Well, probably the number one myth you know, that comes off the top of my head is that they're not a public health concern because um, that's having some really serious ramifications uh, from the standpoint of uh, not just funding for research uh, through institutions like NIH and NSF, um, but societally, uh, health departments, for example, across the country, whose mission is to deal with pests of public health importance, uh, based largely on their potentially transmit diseases. And while bed bugs are not known to transmit diseases, there's certainly an enormous uh, mental health, emotional health, uh, human health impact of, of infestation, uh, not to mention the economic impacts. So um, we need to get our heads straight on that one because uh, if you talk to anybody that's ever had a bed bug problem, they'll tell you it's probably one of the worst things that's ever happened to them. And uh, we actually had a speaker from Canada who spoke about um, uh, a study they recently completed showing uh, heightened levels of depression, anxiety, and other mental health disorders as a result of bed bug infestation. So, I mean, there's all kinds of misconceptions, but that's one off the top of my head. So, so ESA's theme this year is identify, clarify, and speak out. So you're speaking out about bed bug problems, and ESA, has that been a really great tool for you to get the word out on what the, the truth is about bed bugs? Well, it certainly is, and, and I, again, I think it was very uh, fitting that they had that uh, one of their sub themes of the meeting was the entomology and social responsibility because um, it's not just bed bugs. I mean, I know there's honeybee symposiums going and other other important issues, and um, I think uh, the collective uh, agreement, you know, within the society is we, we really need to do a better job of educating the public about what we're about. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Potter. You're welcome. Thank you.